If a fire occurs in a steel-framed building, the internal temperatures can quickly exceed 1,000 degrees Celsius. At around 550 degrees Celsius, steel loses approximately half its strength. Therefore, to avoid buildings collapsing, steel-framed structures need to be insulated. The steel structures may be insulated using a number of different proprietary products. These include intumescent coatings, cementitious or mineral-based products, and board and casing systems. Intumescent coatings are specially formulated paints that swell up and form a protective insulating coating in the event of a fire. Usually they are sprayed on as a thin film by specialist installers. Intumescents look identical to normal paint and so it is crucially important that installation records are maintained. Intumescent coatings are usually used for steel that requires up to 90 minutes protection. Cementitious or mineral products are based on gypsum or Portland cement binders. They are usually applied with low pressure spray techniques to the profile of the steel section to be protected. Fire protection is provided to the steel by these materials in two ways. The first is a cooling effect as trapped moisture within the coating evaporates as the surrounding temperature increases. Secondly, once all the moisture has turned to steam, the product then operates as a thermal installation. Board and casing systems use materials such as ceramic wool, mineral wool, gypsum, calcium silicate and vermiculite. These products provide fire protection in the same way as cementitious products and are dry fixed around the steel. Fire risk assessors will normally be unable to undertake a detailed survey of the fire protection to the structural frame of a building. However, they should, while inspecting the other passive fire protection systems, check the passive fire protection to the steelwork for damage or obvious emissions. Any obvious and significant defects may require a full, invasive third-party inspection. Again, all checks and outcomes must be recorded for future assessments and inspections.